industry inside a nutshell. The show where we sail into our port of call discussing maritime history. Although this video is a short one, this has been requested by my friend Jake, who has been featured in many videos. But it's not narrated by Jake this time. Instead, this is narrated by my friend Turbine, who has made his debut talking about the Britannic's organ. Turbine, thank you so much for narrating the video. And until then, I hope you enjoy this short but amazing video. Beautiful and mysterious pipe organ of the HMHS Britannic. In 2007, a pipe organ was identified in the collection of the Museum of Music Automations in Switzerland through the inscription engraved on each beam under the instrument's wind chests. The organ was believed to have belonged to the Britannic, or the Britannic, the sister of the infamous Armas Titanic. Like her interior doors, the Britannic's pipe organ was supposed to be placed at the foot of the forward grand staircase. However, because of the outbreak of the First World War, and the ship being requisitioned into a hospital ship, the organ was never installed. But what is the history behind this musical instrument? The Britannic's Model 5-6 organ was built in 1912 while the ship was under construction in Belfast. It was built by M. Welts and Sune, a New York branch that produced mechanical musical instruments of the highest quality. It's not known who got into contact with the firm, but it is likely that it would have been J. Bruce Ismay, chairman of the White Star Line. When Britannic was launched in 1914, the vessel began to have her final fittings, which would have been the time that the organ would have traveled from America to Northern Ireland. However, as we all know, the First World War broke out, and the British Admiralty requisitioned the vessel into a hospital ship. The Britannic sank in November of 1916. There was no record of what happened to the organ during the war, but in 1920, the organ was installed in the villa of the camera manufacturer and designer August Nagel in Stuttgart. However, after moving the house, Nagel returned the organ to the manufacturer in 1935. Two years later, it was moved to the reception room of the Radium Electric Light Company in Wipperfirth, Germany, where it remains until the 1960s. The organ was then put up for sale, and after failing to attract attention from buyers, it was bought by Hendrik Wies, the founder of the Museum of Music Automations. It then disappeared from history until its rediscovery in 2007. Since then, the organ was restored, and it is now on display at the museum. Occasionally, it is played at the museum, and it has recorded instrumental music on CDs and on YouTube, including the Christmas Carol, Jingle Bells. If the war never happened, the organ, which could have replaced the musicians the Olympic and the Titanic had, could have been a sight to see for first-class passengers and beautiful to hear as the sounds would have echoed around the Britannic. However, the organ has a home, and it is a popular attraction to see at the Museum of Music Automations. Which song would you have liked to hear on the Britannic's organ? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe for future videos. Until next time, this has been History Inside a Nutshell, departing from the dogs. Thank you so much for all of your support and enjoy the rest of your voyage.